today is such a wonderful day. The sky is bright and everything just looks perfect for planting. I can see a farmer tilling the soil. Can you see him too? I am sure you can. Can you take a look at the color of the soil he is tilling? Look closely. What color is it? Very good. It is black in color. Loamy soil is the best soil for planting. It is great for crops because they are quite rich in nutrients. It is every farmer's favorite soil. Over here is a potter. A potter is a person who molds objects with a special kind of soil. The soil that a potter uses is called clay. That brings us to another type of soil. Clay soil is brown in color. It is every potter's favorite soil. It is great for molding objects like flower vases, bowls and even plates. Clay soil is smooth to feel when wet and that's why potters love it so much. And when it dries, it gets rock hard so the shapes are able to stay in place. But they are not good for plants at all. Plants do not grow well in clay soil because water does not enter into clay soil to get to the roots of the plants. Clay soil also is not rich in nutrients at all, so plants do not get enough nutrients and that's why they do not like clay soil at all. Finally, let's take a look at another kind of soil. It's right under my feet. You see this kind of soil almost everywhere. What is it called? Sand. Sandy soil is rough to touch and it is made up of bigger particles than loamy and clay soil. Sandy soil is used in making cement blocks for building. Sandy soil is every builder's favorite type of soil. Today, we have learned about the types of soil. Can you recall them? Great job! Loamy soil. Remember, loamy soil is every farmer's favorite soil. Clay soil. Remember, clay soil is every potter's favorite soil. Sandy soil. Remember, sandy soil is every builder's favorite soil. That's right. Thank you so much for listening. Thank <laughs> you.